Hey writers, if you watched my goals video last week, you'll know that I am moving towards publication of my YA fairy fantasy book called On Wings of Ash and Dust. And it's super exciting, but in that process, I know I need to do a lot of editing before I can get to the final product this year. So I was thinking it'd be really cool to periodically do little videos like this where I share what I'm learning in the editing process or any tools that I'm coming across or systems or ways of editing that are helping me. And just to put it out there, I do not yet have a step-by-step system that totally works for me. I'm very much still learning as I go, but I love videos like this when people share, hey, I'm trying this out or hey, like I found this tool and I wanted to pass it on. And so basically that's what I figured I'd do. So if that sounds good to you, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what kind of struggles you have with editing because I know I've experienced a little bit of a paralysis. And when I get these kind of tools and systems and ideas that I can try, I feel like I can actually move forward. And the editing tool I want to talk about today and sort of the editing hack I want to share is doing a fast read through of your book using the Kindle app. From all the research and videos I've watched on editing and sort of taking everybody's insights in, some of the things I keep hearing is one, to take a nice long break after you've finished a certain draft so you have some perspective as you go into it. But the next thing is to do a fast read through, which basically means you're going to read through your entire book and make quick notes or highlights so you can sort of see your book as a whole as a reader would see it. And because you've taken a nice long break, you can now have some true perspective going into your story and maybe see things that you didn't see before because you were just too close to it. A lot of writers also suggest to put your story in a different medium than what you wrote it. So if you typed it on your computer, they usually say to print it out and put it in a big binder and make your notes in the margins and highlights on there. And it's sort of, you know, like reading a real book because it's in physical form and very similar to what your readers will feel like reading your book. But then I also heard a few people talking about putting the book in electronic format, um, not a Word document, but like a Kindle app or some kind of e-reader. Now I've done the printed out binder version before and there were some things that I didn't really like about that process. And some of those things is I usually had to be sitting down at a desk or on my couch with like everything around me, like my highlighters and my pens and be situated in a certain way to read. So I couldn't be sort of editing on the go or doing the fast read through on the go. I also felt like I got slowed down a little bit because I wanted to switch between pens and highlighters and different things like that. So opening and closing and misplacing like items as I was trying to do the read through was just distracting. I also really didn't like printing out the whole thing because one, I sort of felt like I was wasting paper a little bit. I know I really wasn't wasting it because it was going to a good cause, but it was just a lot of paper. And you know, it costs money to print out as well. And so for all of these reasons, I decided that this time I was going to try doing the fast read through on my Kindle. And because I've done this, my phone is always with me so I can continue the fast read through at any time, no matter if I'm at home or out. I'm not wasting paper or carrying around a big heavy binder. And I found that highlighting with the four colors that Kindle gives you and the ability to actually add notes in there and all the notes are searchable um, is just been like really cool. And I'm gonna show you a little preview here with somebody else's book because I don't wanna show you too much of my own story quite yet but basically yeah here it's just easy to do the highlights um, you can then see the different kind of highlights you can look at all of the highlights at once or even filter them so if I just wanted to look at all the highlights that just have to do with my characters I put all of those in pink so I can now filter in and just see all the pink highlights and notes that I've made for those characters Another category I have is world building. So that is in this color. And then I have my developmental or like bigger edits that I wanna tackle first in this color. And then finally, I have more like line and copy edits and just little inconsistencies that I found um, in this final color here. And those I would then tackle after tackling the bigger developmental edits. I do wish that the Kindle app had more than just four colors to choose from because it would be really helpful and fun to make like one color, one character and another color, another character. But I am getting around this a little bit by using the notes feature to make more specific notes. And then also I am using a doc, which I will show up here that I'm sort of working through right now, chapter by chapter, but I might just want to like 
do the whole fast read through and then come back to this document after. So you could do it really either way. But um, what I would then do is for example, filtering all of my highlights. So I am just seeing the character ones and then going to the character section in my document here and typing for each character the different edits or even just different details that I want to chronicle about them so that I can create somewhat of a series bible or story bible for my story. If you're a plotter then this is really great because you can then use this document to update your series bible or your chapter summaries or outline but also if you're a pantser this is really great because maybe you wanted to discover the story for yourself in the first draft but now you really want to start taking stock of what is in each chapter and and what color is that character's hair? Am I staying consistent with them throughout the whole story? So you can really use this method for editing, but also just cataloging everything important to your story, especially if you're writing a series. So if you haven't already checked it out, I do have a whole video all about series and story Bibles and how to create one. And I also have some free templates if you want to get started right away. So you can check that out in the description below. But overall for editing purposes, this has just been really great for me um, in the last two days I've read and taken notes on over a third of my book and my book is 128,000 words right now so that's pretty good for me um, and I'm really excited to just take all of the notes that I've gotten from this fast read through into the document I also have beta reader notes that I'm going to be putting into the document as well and then sort of making like a checklist of which edits I need to make priority especially with a certain mentorship opportunity coming up called author mentor match that I want to enter in February. But finally, a bunch of you are probably wondering, okay, this sounds really great, but how do I get my book on to my Kindle? And not just in a PDF format where you can't really highlight things and make notes, but in like a Kindle format where you can actually do all that stuff. For sake of keeping this video semi-short, I will just link below and in the cards to a video with a step-by-step -step process that shows the steps and tools I followed in order to do this and even add a fun temporary cover so that when you're looking in your Kindle library, you actually have a fun cover cover for your book. I created mine in Canva. And if I decide to show a little preview here, none of these pictures are my own pictures. I am borrowing them. I'm not using them anywhere else, but just to show you a little example of what you could create just for yourself and just for fun. But yeah, so definitely check that out if you're interested in trying out this method. And if you do it and it is helpful for you or you find any other hacks, definitely let me know that in the comments because you guys know I always love to learn from you guys too. Right now I'm going to go continue continue that fast read through. But if you enjoyed this editing hack and want to see even more, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button on this video. And if you want even more writerly videos like this one, in the meantime, check out one of these two and we'll see you there.